Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we're going to take everybody in the chat room and we're going to write down what they think it is. Oh, what, what is it? Super Bowl XL or XL? Super Bowl XL1. XL1. Uh, yo, I never went that XL1. far in Greek class. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think it, I think I, I think at this particular <laughs> point, <laughs> yo, I think in this particular point in time, can't they stop using Roman numerals? Nah, like, man. Who, who really counts that so. high? You would think after 50, they said, uh, okay, let's 50. just put... Yeah, yeah, guys, 51. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're just going to keep going, guys. We're going to... Like, you see these this letters, and you're like, yo, I don't know I'm what number that is. I'm never, ever going to say this. Oh, is that... Uh, it's Super Bowl Latin? 50. In one? case you go to a field trip in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying, they're called Roman numerals. Oh, just, whoops. Just saying. Sorry, Greek he people. To, just to throw it out there. Hey, I'm just black. Throw it out there. Hey, listen, <laughs> I've never been nowhere in Europe. I'm learning every day. I'm sure you said the same shit when you heard about Haiti. Like, where's Haiti? You know, so, I don't they heard about, you know, it would be funny if they heard about the Dominican Republic but never heard about Haiti. No, oh, that, it's, that's, that's got to be. You want to know it's funny? You know how, you it's know how true. that happens? No, and there it's are. very yeah. true. There's a lot of there Dominicans. You might, oh my God, where's that happening? Africa? I'm like, no, bitch. Like, 400 you are miles now away from here. In to blunt sessions. You know how many times I got that? Like, so where is Haiti? Okay, so. Now that yeah. the music ran out. Nah. <laughs> right. Let's Super try this again. You know what? Bring that real Everybody shit. Everybody out there listening, type in the chat room right now uh, who the winner is and, and the what score. the score. Yeah. K right. Swiss. Oh. Bah, bah, bah. All right, so as fun as as much as I would as much as I would like to see Tom Brady stick it to Roger Goodell, because that that would be hilarious for a man who has been trying to ruin a guy's reputation for a year and a half. Hey, either way, either way, the thing is, if somebody's trying to ruin your reputation and they're going out of their way to publicly do it to make that person have to give you a trophy, that would be hilarious. But. I gotta go with the Falcons, bro. The Falcons, they're just too, they're too, they're too dominant. You know what I'm saying? Their offense. I mean, I don't even want to talk about how crappy their defense is because their defense is actually playing pretty well. But their offense is just playing out of this world, man. You see how many points they put up on, how many points they put up on the Seahawks before the Seahawks knew what was going on. Yeah. I'm just saying, bro. It was like 30 something points. So I'm gonna go with the Atlanta Falcons, and I'm gonna say. Game's gonna be somewhere. It's gonna probably be pretty high scoring because both their defenses kind of suck. So I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be 31 to 27. Oh, nice. Who you passing it to? Uh, I'm gonna pass it to Gino. Gino Lexus. I like that. I'm gonna say 17 to 21 Falcons. 17 to 21 Atlanta. ATL. ATL, yeah, shouty. Just to, I didn't just, know how to do a dirty bird, but I'm going to eat some chicken that day. Just to say something, last year we were completely wrong. Remember, we picked the Panthers last year. Oh, we did? Oh, yeah? Yeah, we did. Oh, did we have it on wax? Nice. Yeah, it's on there. Oh, it's got to be in the archives, man. Yeah, bro, nice, it's on there. Nice, Who nice. are you passing it to, Gino? Both. All right. Capital L. Um, I'm going to say it's going to come down to a field goal. And that field goal is going to be kicked. By the champions who are going to be Patriots. Ooh. I hate to say it. I, trust me, I don't like Brady. Like yeah, most nobody, people. yeah, nobody, nobody um, wants to go against. Him. But I don't honestly, even want to say Patriots. Period. It's going to be Patriots, and uh, I'm gonna go with uh, you know, 24 to 14. 24, 14. Yeah, I think the defense will actually show up that day. I thought you said know, they were going to win by a field goal. It's like yeah. a ten point field goal. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they gonna get the field yeah. goal. That cr- they gonna get the field hey, goal. Hey, listen, this put, it this way. Shit. put it this way. That last touchdown field is gonna be icing on the cake. Ten right. points. That's what it is. He's gonna get. They gonna win by a field goal. It's fourteen. It's fourteen yeah. fourteen. <laughs> so they all happen. They are gonna fumble in the kickoff. Right. The other team gonna run it back yeah, for a touchdown win. and end the game. game. They gonna win. I know exactly what you meant. Long field goal. All right, yeah. sir, you the last one up, man. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> I want to say Atlanta so bad, and I want to say New England so bad because I know I hate Tom Brady. And I know. Like, how do you pick cheating this? ass motherfucking organization? Hey, listen, it was the ball. It was. The, it was the it ball. Was what happened to your phone? Oh, he just, destroyed it. The camera. Well, he didn't turn his phone in. He didn't just keep it. He, eh, hey man. Break I, it. I, hey, but I'll anyways, watch. we're not gonna go on to that. Yeah, yeah for real. Thing. Y'all already know. Just know that I don't like Tom Brady. I think he's a bum. <laughs> but Bill Belichick is the greatest head coach probably of all time. Except for in Cleveland. Except for in Cleveland. But, hey, like I said, it's one of those deals. That he, 
It was so terrible that he ended up becoming the greatest head coach when he left. And that's what happened. Every Cleveland coach. He was so motivated. Cleveland's like New York Knicks. That yeah, he was know? like, I don't want to lose again. You get there, you go there to prepare to so, win somewhere you gotta, else. <laughs> you got to go there to test your you know, fortitude. Yeah, yeah. You go there to prepare. <laughs> you got to you gotta learn to lose first. You got to learn to lose. Before exactly. you, you win. Before you <laughs> win. Before you, you got to crawl before you yeah, walk. You know right? what I'm saying? And he lost so much that he's decided, I'm never going to lose again. Yeah, I'm done. That's exactly. That's never going to happen. Ohio and New York does that to you. You know, that's so, look at LeBron. He left that shit. That's true. He, he won, came back, like, I'm good now. And then we won. Let's do don't this. Don't leave that right? part out. And then we, oh, all right. And then we won. Yeah, don't forget, you know, we, that's why I got this trophy in my hand. That's true. But you left, motherfucker, and then you won. Exactly. And then you okay. came back and then won. You couldn't win that first so, time. So, can we talk football? Yeah, nigga. I'll bring LeBron now. What happened, LeBron? No, LeBron got his championship. Nah, LeBron got his championship. Nah, he's cool. So far, we got Pats. All right, I'm going to say, okay, Atlanta's going to win. It's going to be, I think like Bo was saying, I want to say it's going to be a high-scoring game. 10-point field goal. 10-point field goal. Not a 10-point field goal, (laughs) but it is going to be decided by three. Math was skewed there. And I think it's going to be. That's at four points, so it's like. Yeah. I think it's going to be 35. No, that's 38 to 35. 35. Yeah, 38 to yeah. 35 Atlanta. Yeah, because they both got pretty shitty defenses. And I see the MVP. Okay, wait, let me oh, check the chat. Oh, you want to do MVP? Let me check the chat. Let me check the chat real quick. Yeah, I was going to say, you want to do who's going to be the MVP All of the right. game? I'm going to tell you that. Already. Be focused. Straighten up. A.K.A. b Cause. A.K.A. b Cause. He's got New England winning 31 to 14. Let me play this music because it sounds better. That's 31 more, to 14. Sadly, that's like more accurate. <laughs> yeah, for real. I know, mine is really high. That's a really high score. Uh, we got Tim Goodrich. 3 to 0. Wow, that's, that's <laughs> in favor of. That field in goal. favor of Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta wins 3-0. Both defenses show up. Tom Brady yeah. hurt. Matt Ryan That's been hurt. the worst Super Bowl ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, not. You zero. got two of the illest quarterbacks in the league. And they no nobody touched 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 out. Super no touchdowns. That'd be the worst fucking Kick game. And everybody was sitting there. You know what? Yo, I like what he did. I like, I like what he did here. He said, Dirty Birds 3 to Patriots O, which is the letter lowercase letter O. Then he says, which is the deflated zero. Oh. <laughs> well played, Very Tim. Nice. I'm, I'm so, so good, Rich. That's you my man. A yeah. No, and you a round of applause. And the puppy bowl. I probably would rather watch the puppy bowl. Yeah, I can't lie though. A three to zero score. It would be the worst Super Bowl or the best Super Bowl. That, Cause yeah, because that would literally, yo, literally you'd be defense. sitting there waiting for somebody to score. Please, right. you'd be like, yo, somebody. He's about to score. Oh. What do you it's do? Like play off, it's like playoff oh, baseball. What do you do? It's like blitz. No, it's, it's like just, NFL blitz. Just a bunch of turnovers the whole game. It's like almost having sex. <laughs> You're right there. It is. It's right there. <laughs> right there man. But you didn't. It, but you, yeah, but you, you walk didn't. away thinking, like, what did I say? Yeah. All right. Before we get into talking about what old people smell like. Oh, yeah. That's right. Speaking of Tim Goodrich, shout out to him. I ain't seen him in the chat in a while. Yeah. Round of applause again to you. Yeah. We used to do this thing called the Facebook fan profile, and then I fell off. We just got other things going on. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on. Every hey, time, every time you don't listen to it. Uh, every time hey. you listen to the show, there's like two or three new segments that keep getting birthed. Yeah, I'm always come. We, we come up with new segments all the time. Man, look, we start with two hosts. Freaking now we got like five. five. You know what I'm saying? Great. You know what I'm saying? Four that show up. Shout yeah, out to well, Brother Latino. I, 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 I he's the guy know. next door that looks over the fence, like home improvement. Wilson. <laughs> Wilson. He's That's Wilson. that guy. I remember. You know, so he, this is the Facebook fan profile of Tim I'm So Good Rich. <laughs> Tim I'm So Good Rich was born in Brandon, Florida and weighed in a hefty 35.8 pounds. Hey, that's a big baby! He was given the nickname Missile because he was born on top of a missile. Hey, there's a baby on the missile! As a young boy, Tim once broke his parents' radio using a homemade missile that he created out of a carrot, rubber bands, marbles, and Elmer's glue. Who ain't my carrot? Young Timothy was distraught after breaking the only form of entertainment his parents had, and he vowed to himself that one day he would fix that broken radio. 
Someday I'm gonna fix this. After finishing junior high school, Timothy enrolled in Brandon Radio Tech High School for the Gifted. It was there he learned all the technical aspects of missiles and radios. He joined the Radio Tech team and led the fighting missiles to three consecutive state championships. He graduated valedictorian of his class with a 7.9 GPA. Tim went on to join the Air Force and become what he's always dreamed, a missile radio technician. All right, I did it! His biggest accomplishment in the military was creating the world's first missile with a radio built in. After that moment, he met his soon-to-be future wife, Cisco, and they became inseparable. Tim left the military, opened up a studio and named it Soundcheck, which is kind of awkward because he's German. This has been the Facebook fan profile of Tim I'm So Goodrich. And that's, you know. Tim I'm So Goodrich. I'm So Goodrich. That's something that took a little bit of time. Yeah, we used to to do those basically when you... uh, how to get submitted for one of those, you just go to the Facebook Blunt Sessions page. You like it. Like it, and, and then it. I'll randomly choose someone to make... Active people, though. Not profile. Not, not inactive people, because yeah. it don't make sense to make a profile and do all that work for Just make a profile listen. based off of stuff that's happened in their life, i.e. where they work, where yeah. they've been we born. We spy through your Facebook, yeah. see what you've been up and to. And create a fake life. It's like exactly. a Blunt Sessions ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except yeah. we look through all make your stories Facebook about po- you. Yeah. That's exactly, exactly what an ex-boyfriend would do. make up a whole do. bunch of stories about you. But the <laughs> difference is you actually <laughs> hear about this shit. Yeah. You actually can replay the shit and play it for your mom and dad. Maybe your grandparents, too. Maybe your kids. Hey. Maybe your kids. You got a dog? Play it for the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Karma, wherever she's at. Yeah, Where? somewhere in the Yeah, house. don't really. She's chilling. <clears throat> don't forget, if you want to send someone out the country... Let, Let us know. know. We'll get her out of here. Get me out of here. I can't even say that no more. It's hurting my throat. Get her out of here. <laughs> He's going to get her out of here. You get your work. Get it out of here. I don't know what you got. That sounds like they took my jobs. They took my jobs. <laughs> Sorry guys, but yeah, this is blunt sessions. Yeah. So uh, old people smell like palm olive and goat's milk. Ew. Oh, god! Old people smell like dust mites and depression. Damn. Damn. <laughs> old people smell like used car batteries and <laughs> used car. Damn. And the underside of a Toyota Camry seat. Dang. Be focused says old people smell like cough drops, cats, and newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Old people smell like Vicks. That's it. <laughs> That's, That's, it. Vicks. 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 That's it. Vicks nice. vapor rub. That's it. Vicks vapor rub. That's it. Old people smell like coupons and dish rags. <laughs> <laughs> old people smell like yard sales <laughs> and three day old tuna. <laughs> old people smell like a, uh, a baby boy's diaper and Dang. the out. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I couldn't think of no more, man, I was, I was tired, bro, I can't think of no more, old people smell like denture cream and Twizzlers, <laughs> oh, I just thought of one, you son of a old bitch, old people smell like fresh cut grass, <laughs> old people smell like dirty old knee socks, <laughs> Old people smell like the dumpster behind Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Old people smell of... like house shoes and 4.30 in the morning alarms. <laughs> Goodness uh, gracious. That's just anger. Old people smell like Colostomy Blags. Colostomy. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Old people smell like used air dusters <laughs> and penny loafers. <laughs> I know, I said penny loafers before, but fuck it. Old people smell like <laughs> chest-high slacks and short sleeves with the cigarettes rolled up on them. 
Obi will smell like shopkeepers. Like, <laughs> yeah.